the International Conference on Robotics and Automation Conference 2025 just finished in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. This year, we saw some of the coolest robots and advanced technologies that are changing our lives. You're about to get the sneak peek of some of the hottest technologies before they even get onto market. Let's get into it. First off, we have Deep Robotics and their Light 3 Quadruped Robot. This robot is super robust and can handle almost any impact thanks to reinforcement learning. Not only that, but it could do lots of cool tricks like standing on its feet and even a backflip. All of this can be remote controlled or autonomously programmed. It also has lots of control modes that allows it to rotate its body. It can even go up almost any terrain with ease. It's also got some voice-controlled AI capabilities. Moonwalk. All right, shake hand. What would you say sets, sets apart Deep Robotics from the different companies that make quadrupeds? From our user perspective, uh, like the, I, say, I think the, the locomotion capabilities that we saw so far are extremely per, uh, impressive. And I think you can see from the, um, the, the other products as well. And then for, from the open mind perspective, from the, youth, uh, the sort of, uh, collaborator user perspective, uh, we feel that they have a very good or, uh, sort of, uh, set of documentation as well as the uh, very good uh, motion capabilities that we can very easily integrate for our end use case okay. and, and then that's going to be very useful in, in our actual uh, end use case. I see. Okay, cool. Very nice. They also have a larger quadruped robot that has lots of real-world applications. Let's see what else they can do. As you can see, the applications are absolutely endless. Next up, we have this super realistic looking humanoid robot. What's cool about this platform is that you can actually purchase the head separately, the arm separately, so that you could do individual research without having to purchase the entire robot. Next, we have My Actuators. These are perfect if you want to build your own humanoid robot or quadruped robot. They're known for their back-drivable actuators, perfect for human interaction. I used their harmonic robot actuators for this robot that I built on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. And if you're completely new to robotics, make sure to check out kevinwoodrobotics.com. Next up, we have Booster Robotics. They put on a super nice entertaining show for us with two robots being teleoperated, fighting each other. Let's see who's gonna win. And looks like we have a winner. Next up, we have Themis from Westwood Robotics. This robotic platform is perfect for researchers looking to implement algorithms for navigation, controls, and perception. You can see that its whole body control algorithm allows it to stabilize even if I'm pushing it. Next up, we have Sharpa. They developed this really nice robotic hand, which is super responsive that you can see, which we can remotely control it by using a camera looking at our hand movement.
Next up, we have this super robust robotic hand from Shadow Robot. That's not safe, right? I won't damage it. Oh, okay. They also have this robotic hand with tactile sensing that you can see with very accurate force measurements on the fingertips. Next, we have a humanoid robot on a mobile base being teleoperated by a human user. Let's see what it can do. Here we have a robotic hand from Kobe. This robotic hand can be controlled with a PlayStation controller or it can be controlled using a glove. This robot arm is actually a joystick. By moving the tool end around, I can actually feel the environment that I see on the screen, all the different textures and the forces as if my hand were actually inside this simulated environment. Next up, we have this robot that looks like it's from another planet. You can see that it has the upper body of a human, but the bottom is on a ball base, which allows it to easily roll around. Next, we have this life-size robotic dog from Digimatix. Here we have an impressive robotic arm from Artly that can make coffee latte art automatically. Oh nice. Oh I could do the art too, really. Next, we have a joystick from Happily. This allows us to control a tool end in simulation or in real life. Not only that, but I can also feel the exact texture and forces as if my hand were actually touching the object. Next, we have Limix Dynamics. This is a bipedal robot that allows researchers to study navigation and locomotion. It's super good at stabilization that even if you kick it, it won't fall over. It's pretty stable. Yeah. You can also apply a lot of downward pressure and it can resist the forces that you apply onto it. Yeah, strong. Next up, we have Flexive. This robot arm has force feedback, so I can actually remotely control another arm and feel exactly what that other arm is feeling. Next up, we have Contactile. This robotic gripper uses light sensing to allow it to see the deformation it has on its fingertips, and from there, it knows exactly how hard to grip the object so that the object doesn't escape its grip. Next up, we have Exonetic. They develop impedance control technology that allows me to feel the environment as I'm controlling one arm with the other arm. Impact the table if you want. Yeah. Okay. We also have these life size humanoid robot from Kepler. And that's a wrap. Make sure to subscribe for more robotics and AI.